Hello everyone. This is Vanilla. I practicing chartered accountant. Today here we are going to discuss a topic called what advice do you want to give for first time startup founders? So we'll we'll say that uh, be, um, the founder has to think that why he want to start a product first of all and why he want to give a service. So you should know the reason why it has the plan or the idea has come, and uh, you should also know that uh, the this product is going to solve anybody's problem or this service is going to solve anyone's problem. Then you can proceed uh, executing your uh, what making the product or giving in service. Uh, that's how you have to think. Next point, uh, you should always take a different path. Different path means uh, you should always remember successful entrepreneurs took a completely different path. They created the market for their product or service and then filled the demand. That's called a true startup. So we will take an example of this uh, Apple company. Uh, you know how like uh, how strong is the market for the product and uh, because of the quality because of the quality the market is uh, very good so they have created such kind of quality and uh, then they fill the the needs or, or demand of the customers so that's how you have to think uh, it's not that you should always think uh, in the same way but uh, try to take a different path I mean to say mm. coming to the next point maintain uh, good books of accounts so never compromise with accounting maintaining good books of records and financial statements so these financial statements are they they keep a track of all your day-to-day -day expenses or income and at the end uh, uh, we will prepare that uh, profit and loss account balance sheet and cash flow statement which states that what is the profit the business has made uh, or what is, what is the loss the business has made and cash flow statement will say what has what cash has come into the business and what kind of cash has gone out uh, uh, so maintaining a book, good books of accounts is mandatory uh, if you ever need funds, venture capitalists and angel investors would look at it and uh, it is also a complete picture of your business. So whenever the outside person wants to invest money into your business, they first look at the financial statement, financial strength of the company. So this is uh, very much important to keep a reco record of your business transactions so that uh, it is helpful not only for investing into the business but uh, many for many other reasons it is required so it's, you will have your own idea that how the business is doing whether it is doing well or it is do it, whether financially it has to be uh, uh, like improved kind of idea you should also have for that reason you have to maintain a books Next, focus on the clients, not a product. Uh, think about who is going to use your product and why. I mean, what, what is the problem? Who is going to use your product and uh, why they want to use the product or service? Mm. So you have to analyze that. Uh, whose purpose is uh, your product and service is going to serve? Uh, you should study on this and what will he expect from this product? What the customer is going to expect from your product? And you should also talk to your customers and try to understand them. Next. Do the market research and validate your idea. Uh, find your niche uh, specialized it means specialized segment of the 
a market for your product or service uh, and talk to the future users so doing a market research and validating your idea is must so you must know that the market is available for your product and and try to talk to the future users of the product or service then it gives you a um, uh, confidence that yes your this is going to succeed that your plan is going to succeed that kind of uh, um, idea you will come to know and uh, ask your target group how they would use your product uh, going to the market and testing the concept is more important than sitting in the basement and working on it. So, uh, better study the market and test the concept and then only execute it, means to say. Next, start getting feedback before your product is ready. So, it's not that feedback is you can only get the once it is once the product or service is launched you can take a feedback test feedbacks um, before it is uh, be, before your plan is executing executed itself so oh, this is also necessary because you will get uh, ideas or suggestions or any corrections need to be done all that feedback you can get uh, once you implement it. Uh, implementing means implementing of feedback idea before launching the product itself. Better to be uh, this feedback has to be taken and then it has to be continued so that uh, you will get a valid points uh, from the customers. Uh, so that's what they are saying and fail happens make sure you draw conclusions conclusions means um, you should set always set a deadline that uh, within this period only you will test uh, your product and service and you have to see whether it is going to happen as per your plan whether it is uh, uh, going in the same direction what you thought so you have to draw a conclusion that uh, I will suppose a one year or one and a half year you will give time and then see uh, whether it is profitable whether it is uh, ag executable further or not so give some time limit and then decide whether to continue or whether to stop it uh, and you should not repeat the same mistakes so, oh, don't think that if you it, if it happened that the business has stopped don't think that it is a, um, a fail idea failed idea Though you should never think like that always should focus on that what you have learned out of that so every every mistake will give you some lesson right so you have to uh, learn the mis like you have to learn uh, out of that uh, mistakes and you should not repeat the same thing. Oh, it always gives a chance to improve. I mean, I can say next be always confident. So, uh, while at, at the time. Uh, at the first time you got an idea you might be very confident that this is going to happen uh, so you should always carry the same kind of confidence uh, all the time so that uh, so that you you will execute like uh, it is very cu crucial thing actually it's a very crucial thing uh, every time you do something in the business you should go with confidence full confidence uh, and next customer issues customer problem is the only thing to focus on uh, so never ignore what the problem said by your customer because then it's 
it's also like a feedback from them uh, they will always give you a very uh, good points which will improve your product or service they out of the problem only you will get ideas like where it has to be improved uh, where anything is missing at at what uh, what are the things you can avoid what are the things you can add so many things you will get to know out of customer problems only so don't think that uh, you can ignore like i have like we have uh, given the service and product and then we are not going to accept any any feedback from the customer it's not that you should listen to the customer problem uh, so that you will do better next continuous improvement in product and service so uh, never think that uh, you have made a pro perfect product a perfect service uh, and this is going to be a permanent one and it will continue forever never think that like that uh, the market is changing people needs are changing people ta people's taste is changing so according to that you have to improve you have to change you have to do modifications uh, in your service and the product then only you can survive in the market so uh, keep focus on like uh, to continue uh, improving your product and service okay uh, thank you all